Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how we can use Winget to manage Windows Server 2025 apps and PowerShell desired state. Microsoft included Winget by default on Windows Server 2025 that can be easily used to manage and install apps in your server environment. The Winget command line tool enables user to discover, install, upgrade, remove and configure application on Windows computer. So let's go to the server and see a few useful Winget commands. So right now we are on our server and if we search for the terminal, you can see the terminal and the Windows PowerShell. I will go to the terminal and the first command we will test is Winget. You can see the result for this Winget. If you see the result for this Winget, that means the Winget is installed on the computer. So by default, we have a Winget on Windows Server 2025 and it is showing the following commands are available. These are the command available with the Winget. And these are the following option that are available. So let's try this one, Winget hyphen V. It says that it will display the version of the tool. You can see we have a version 1.7 dot one zero eight six one and we also have this one see the upgrade upgrade one so let's try the win get upgrade this time I will run upgrade and let's see you can see the Microsoft Edge right now it is on this version we have a available version one twenty four dot zero dot this and Windows terminal also we can upgrade it to one dot one nine and source is win get so now we know the two packages are there to upgrade and they are safe. So we can type winget upgrade hyphen hyphen all. So you can see it is downloading the Microsoft Edge web view to runtime and the version 124 and it's downloading the edge. It has successfully verified the installer hash and now starting the package install. You can see the successfully installed. So the Edge Web View runtime has been successfully installed and right now it is installing the Windows Terminal. So you can see the successfully installed restart the application to complete the upgrade. Uh, this is the terminal we have installed the terminal so we can just restart it to get it applied properly. So let me quickly restart it. I will restart the terminal. We can also configure the Winget setting using the configuration file to customize the look and feel of the Winget application. If we type here Winget settings, it's asking select an app to open this JSON file. So we have to install Visual Studio code here. So let's do that. It is quite simple to install that. You can just type Winget install VS code and hit enter. You can see it is downloading and it will install it. It is quite easy to install app through the Winget. You can see it is installed now. Right now, if we see here, if we search for the Google Chrome, we do not have any application by the name of Chrome or if we search the Firefox, we do not have any. Here what we can do, we can do winget search, if I say Firefox, here see, we have a lot of option with this, you can see Mozilla Firefox, we want this. If we use this winget install, and let's type this Mozilla Firefox and hit enter. You can see the multiple packages found. Uh, we need this one. Let's try this one. If it works, see it is downloading. I choose this one Mozilla.Firefox and now it is downloading. Successfully verified and installed. So if we search for the Firefox now, you can see we have the Firefox app. You can see it is installed. So this is the easiest way we can just search for the package and just install it through the Winget. And if you run this Winget settings, it opens it in a visual code. You can see the setting.json. I just want to show you that if someone want to change the settings, you can edit it with the visual code. Let me close it. Also Winget can be used to configure for the PowerShell desired state configuration. If we want to get started with Python development on Windows, we can use the PowerShell desired state configuration that will automatically enable the developer mode, will install the GitHub desktop, it will install the Python and will also install the Visual Studio code. For that we can just type this 
win get configured now we have to put the URL for the YAML file so let me copy the URL and I'll paste it here let's see you can see it's retrieving the configuration details so you can see the enable developer mode it will do the things like this it will enable the developer mode it will install the python 3.12 winget packages will install this github desktop and install the visual code and same thing we have to do here manually if we see this set up your development environment get started using python on windows for beginners if you see this set up your development environment install python install visual studio code install github this thing you have to do that manually so here we just have to type yes and it will configure it automatically so don't you think that winget made it very easy to configure all this thing in a quick way you see that all the task has been completed successfully the configuration successfully applied let me also show you that if you want to remove any application we have just installed the mozilla firefox let uninstall it winget uninstall mozilla.firefox let's see if it works see you can see found mozilla firefox starting package uninstall it is removed now so this way you can use winget to manage your app install and remove the application on windows server 2025 I hope the video was useful. Next meet in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.